keep open all the hours they'd like to be in Miami Township. Mike Campbell, News Center 7. A vitamin shop spokesperson did not directly address the walkout and brief store closure, but later the vitamin shop did send us a statement. said, as a team, we are committed to serving our customers, communities, and each other with respect and dedication to our company mission of good health for all. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast. That's weather coverage you can count on. I had to make this point. Robert was right over here right next to us and then he just popped up yeah, right next to the other one. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. I should move We're picking on the new guy. Yeah, no. That's fine. Yeah, still some showers out there tonight. And, yeah. Know, of yeah, we've had some showers still looking at a few of that. We'll continue to see that a little bit, and then they'll taper off. You can see behind me, yeah, still looking at some green and some blue. So that's usually the lower end of the radar as far as the intensity is concerned, just some light rain. And then we're looking at some cooler temperatures as well. Let's go and take a look at the radar. You can see a little bit close up. This is all of our viewing area, the Miami Valley showing. Some green just passing through there, some of that passing through Miami County. And you're getting a little bit Montgomery County, really all the way from Indiana off toward the eastern edge of the viewing area, and then temperatures are still a bit on the warm side, but we're going to see that continue to decline here as we move into the overnight hours. They're going to continue to drop, and we're going to stay pretty cold into tomorrow, so enjoy this last bit of warmth as we have it right now, because that cold front is just knocking on the back door. It's already pushing across some parts of the viewing area. Let's take a look at that radar across the map. You can see temperatures in the 50s, but if you go up, say, toward Wapakoneta and also towards Salina, you see some temperatures in the 40s. So it's not the biggest difference. You would expect it to be a little bit cooler up north, but that's just about where some of that cold air is coming in as a result of the cold front moving through. And so what we can expect here is that cold front to push through, bringing some of these showers along with it, and then the colder temperatures will continue to fall. You're already still continuing to see some showers in parts of Indiana, but they're starting to taper off a bit as well. They also have a little bit of rain up here toward, I don't know, I, I know in history they teach about the Toledo Strip. I don't know if they still call that area the Toledo Strip, but... Toledo Strip, there you go. You're still seeing a little bit of snow up here and even some rain across the lakes in Dusky, Cleveland. So we're looking at still some rain impacting much of Ohio, parts of Ohio. Nothing too intense, though, just some white sprinkles. Wouldn't even be surprised if there was a rumble of thunder somewhere across the state. I didn't hear any, but we've had a little bit of rain. Now, as we move into the next several hours, you're going to continue to see this cold front moving our way, and then it'll bring in the cooler air overnight. Not expecting any snow or anything. Thing like that. I think the showers will taper off before the really cold air comes in. And still, we're only looking to get to about 32 degrees overnight. You'll feel it a lot more tomorrow afternoon when you're looking at high temperatures in the 30s, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed temperatures in the 60s yesterday and temperatures in the 60s today, because we're not going to get that tomorrow. But we're going to warm up soon enough. Tomorrow will be cold. It'll be a little bit better Friday. And then, yes, warmer air comes in by the weekend. But with that comes the rain. So mostly cloudy skies across much of Ohio now. You can see we're not going to be completely overcast, but it will be pretty cloudy overnight. Moving into tomorrow, it's cold, 8 a.m., looking at 32 degrees. Not much better by 4 o'clock, 38 degrees at that point. Mostly cloudy skies likely continuing. I think we will see a little bit of breakup in the cloud cover though on parts Friday. But we do warm up into the weekend. 67 on Saturday, 68 Sunday. Wouldn't even be surprised if a few places can pop into the 70s there. So as we move into the next several hours, what's left of those sprinkles just they kind of taper off. We keep some cloud cover with us. The cloud cover does break up a little bit on Thursday. It won't be completely clear or completely overcast, just passing clouds throughout the day. Friday, a little bit better, a little bit less cold, with high temperatures getting into the upper 40s, about 49 degrees for Friday, and you can see some sunshine there. A few sprinkles Saturday, a better chance of rain, and even some thunderstorms perhaps on Sunday, leading into early Monday morning, and that's all with another cold front coming through. But once that happens, we'll have cooler air filtering in across the area Tuesday and Wednesday, but no teens on this seven-day forecast, no single digits. We are getting closer to the spring. We'll be there soon enough in just a few weeks. Thanks, Robert. Several state, states' attorneys general say they want to investigate TikTok's impact on young Americans.